Hello YouTube world, Pretend Farmer here. Not a real farmer, just pretending. Today we are going to be studying the anatomy of the chicken egg. Let's get into it. That white skin that's inside of your eggshell is called the membrane. This membrane is what helps keep bacteria from getting in the egg and contaminating it. This fluid here that surrounds your yolk is referred to as the egg white. Now this is the part of the egg that contains the lowest fat content, and it's what all your healthy people eat. Can you believe there's actually people that get rid of the yolks, and they just eat the egg whites because they want to be healthy? How foolish. They're, they're getting rid of the tastiest part of the egg. When you get on into the heart of the egg, this bright orange ball here is your yolk, obviously. This is the part of the egg that is for people like the pretend farmer, us unhealthy people. This is the part of the egg that stores all the fat and cholesterol. And there's also some good stuff in there. There's vitamins, there's protein, there's minerals. Now this yellow yolk part of the egg is important because you see that white dot right there that looks like a bullseye? That is where your chick starts. This is a fertilized egg. And it's that little white dot there on the side of the yolk that is gonna eventually grow up to be a big healthy chick. And it all starts right there with that little white speck. As it grows and develops, all of its nutrients it's going to pull are going to be from that yolk. It's almost kind of like the placenta for the chicken. Now, a lot of times you'll see these little white cord looking things. They're called the chalza, and they just help to hold the yolk in place. So there you have it. That's the anatomy of the chicken egg. Bet you didn't know there was all that stuff going on inside of there, did you? One more thing I want to note is that at the bottom of your egg, whenever an egg is laid and it starts to cool, an air pocket forms. And you don't really see this when you crack it open, but if you ever have eggs in an incubator and you candle them, you'll see that air pocket and then you'll see where the chick starts to develop. Now as eggs age, even if they're not fertilized, that air pocket will grow in size. And the reason why it's important for you to understand that as a consumer of eggs is because if you've ever done the float test, you know that bad eggs will float in a glass of water. It's because that egg pocket has grown, indicating the egg's got some good age to it. Good healthy eggs will sink straight to the bottom of a water-filled glass. In terms of a chick developing in there, that air pocket is simply serving as a cushion to help keep that baby chick a little more comfy and secure in that egg. Now you know what's going on inside the eggs you eat. And here's the really neat part. It doesn't matter if your eggs are white or brown or if they're green, they're all built the same. Thank you for attending Pretend Farm University. And now that you know the anatomy of an egg, be sure and go out and educate the world. Until next time, this is the Pretend Farmer signing out. Happy farming out there.